Hi everybody, I'm Amanda the G, and we're in my bathroom, so you know what that means. And you might think, hey Amanda, you look quite terrible today, and why have you decided to do SFX makeup when you have lovely pimples that have decided to join you for the party? Don't worry about it, that's kind of where we're going with this. I got a variety of shit here, and we're just gonna go. I'm gonna start by torturing myself with scar wax, and uh, I'm gonna use the modeling wax from Graftobian, and I don't have anything to put on my hands right now other than I'm gonna try body oil because I'm not about to go to Target right now and try and find something that I can put on my hands to make it not stick. So we're just gonna attempt with this. If you're wondering what I'm doing beyond torturing myself with scar wax, and yes, this is all I'm using because I, I this stuff is both great and awful. Um, I, I'm going to make a depiction of something. So this is not a new realization by any means, but people, when you can see people's diseases and disorders, like a broken arm and you can see it, or a cut open, you can see it, people are empathetic and they understand. But when you have an internal disease that tortures you day in and day out, you really, you can't tell. People can't tell, they just, can't see it. So what I'm doing is I am making my outsides match my insides. That's what this is. I'm doing a visual depiction of the torture that is my body inside. So we're gonna just get really gory right now. We're just going for it basically. I am planning on looking as diseased and gory and disgusting disgusting as possible because that's really how my innards are and I just took one of these little sponges and did a little thingy so I can make some bruising but I'm actually gonna skip that for right now and we're gonna get some eyeshadow, some gray eyeshadow and we are gonna get gross and I'm just using this damn thing because special effects makeup ruins everything so right now I'm basically gonna try and make my eyes look deep set with gray. Oh, that hurts. I am not gonna use this thing. This thing is broken. It's kind of freeing to paint something on your face that people try and hide on their face. Like people try and hide these dark gray circles and I'm just like, let's add some eyeshadow to them. Let's accentuate the shit that people want to hide. Now, for the fun part, I'm gonna go into the bruising, which I wanted to do before, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it now. Bruising. So this is a bruise palette. This is by Mehron, if you care. And we're just gonna start with the yellow, and we're gonna make a few bruises. So we're gonna get one up on my head. If you've not done this method before, you start lightest to darkest, and you take this little sponge with the little things picked out of it, and then you just Tappity tap tap on your bruises. We're gonna go to blue. For some reason, my blue has glitter in it. I don't know why, I don't know how. Now, red. Now, since I want these to be really nasty, I'm gonna do brown for some of them, and just a little bit on some and a lot of it on this one, because this one is gonna be really gnarly. And if you're wondering what this is a visual representation of, headaches and pain, like, hello, pain. It feels like my insides are like ripping themselves apart sometimes. I have literally fallen to the ground writhing in pain before. And if you are new to my channel and wondering at all what it is that I have, why would I feel that way? What's going on? What sort of invisible disease do I have? I've got endometriosis and it is endometri awful. And that was a terrible play on words. That was not even a play on words. So I apologize kind of for that. Kind of, yes, kind of, no. I also get headaches, like really bad headaches. So I don't know if that's really correlated or not. I don't know. So many things are correlated and so many aren't that it's really hard to tell. So I was gonna do some like vein stuff, but I'm actually really liking how this is right now. So I'm gonna put these down and we are gonna switch from bruising 
to blood. Starting with red paradise paint, Mayron. Again, doesn't really matter. You can use any. I like this kind. We are not done with that yet. I will come back to that in a minute, but we're gonna go for coagulated blood gel. Again, another Mayron product. Not at all sponsored at all. So my attempt, this is my plan for the heart, is to attach nails to myself. These are finishing nails, so I don't know how well this is gonna work, but I'm gonna spirit gum them and try and stick them into my heart. And if you wonder why, it's because I get a lot of heart pain and it's like someone's stabbing my heart continuously. So we are going to try this. If it doesn't work, I will have to attach something else and come up with a plan B. I am now switching to something that I really wanna do, which is smear lipstick. <laughs> I love doing this. I have done it before for a crazy costume and I love it so much. It is so freeing to put lipstick on and not give a fuck if it goes on your actual lips. So this is just a free sample of lipstick that I got a long time ago. I have a feeling I can smear all over my face. I don't remember what brand it is. It's in just a little thing. So I'm gonna put it on my lips. And then that fun part happens where you just rub around your face and smear like you're a two year old putting lipstick on. Now we're going to do a little bit more blood. I'm going to actually splatter some, so I'm going to take a toothbrush with water on it and get into my paradise paint. And we're just thinning it, thinning it out in water. Then I'm just gonna add some more blood around this and we will all be done. So that's it. That is this beautiful, beautiful transformation. It looks kind of like I did something and I got a little bit of an accident somewhere. But this is my visual representation of how my insides feel sometimes. So, you know, but kind to all of those lovely people who suffer from diseases you don't see. Uh, but basically just be kind to people. But anyway, that's not really the point of this. It's kind of the point of this, kind of not the point of this. Anyway, let me know what you thought about this in the comments. And if you ever recreate a look like this, please tag me in it on social media. Stay fresh, cheese bags. I forgot my own outro there. It has been a long week.